you very much. Did we pronounce that correctly? Maybe you can help us. Close enough. Yeah. Uh, close enough? <laughs> yes, uh, Representative Ferraro, next. Yes. Good afternoon. I'm Representative Ferraro from uh, West Haven Orange in Milford. I have with me one of my constituents. You may just call him Nebu. Um, we both uh, will be um, testifying on the same bill, um, HB 5771. I also would like to testify in support of HB 5772, as well as mentioning my support for HB 5773, which was the act requiring legislative approval to increase the, um, uh, for increased rates uh, for uh, rail or bus fare. And to, um, uh, so I'd like to give my support for that. So I hope we can combine our time, the two of us. Would that be okay? Um, so very briefly, I'll, I'll start out with uh, uh, mentioning my support for 5772. Um, and as you are aware, <clears throat> Most of the serious crimes on the books are classified as felonies, murders, rapes, and assaults are just a few of the crimes that fall under that definition. People committing felonies are dangerous individuals, and Connecticut should not be a haven for people who have earned uh, who have carried out these atrocities. By taking away the privilege to drive for convicted felons, we will be disincentivizing criminals from staying in the state and making our community safer for our children and our families. I'd like to move on because uh, my main concern here today was 5771. As you uh, met a very close friend of mine earlier, Michael and his, and his uh, wife Becky, um, you heard his concerns and how difficult it is for him uh, suffering with this particular uh, level of P PTSD. Um, it is without question <clears throat> that war is a gruesome, vulgar, and obscene activity. And the things that are seen on the battlefield often can never be unseen. <clears throat> these terrible scenes can be permanently embedded in the minds of men and women fighting these fights overseas. And post-traumatic stress disorder is increasing among our veterans at an alarming rate. Mental trauma has been linked to an array of chronic physical conditions and diseases, including fibromyalgia, dementia, heart disease, high blood pressure. And studies have shown that combat veterans with PTSD are two to three times more likely to develop heart disease than those without the disorder and who are and are generally in poor overall health. The more and more studies they do, they show that there's a link between trauma and physical conditions uh, and diseases, and it is imperative that we take proactive steps to help those who are suffering and afford them the ability to park in spaces designed or designated for disabled persons. Um, I will relinquish the, my time to uh, Nebu, who can testify, and then I'd be happy to answer any questions regarding those bills. Thank you. My name is Nebu Yumas Russia. I am a member of the Connecticut National Guard. I'm here not, not as, an, as a guardsman, but a veteran of, of uh, Afghan war, and as well as also an advocate for veterans. And the reason why I support HB 5771 is because I'm also um, diagnosed with PTSD. I deployed to Afghanistan in 2012-2013, uh, part of a transportation company. And after come serving a year and coming back, things have changed. You know, I can drive down the road and spot you know, a garbage bag and my heart goes up you know, start getting, you know, nervous. There's times where I had to pull over to the side, get myself together, and tell myself, hey, you're back home. You know, that's just a garbage bag, you know. Now, going to the grocery store. I normally would go around 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the, in the evening, you know, go to a 24-hour Walmart, because having to drive around looking for a parking spot and at the same time dealing with everybody else, you know, uh, either jumping in front of your vehicle or, you know, another vehicle cutting you off, it exasperates me. And it also, uh, so I pull over or, you know, sometimes I say, I tell, I'll tell my wife, hey, you know, you go ahead. 
you know, I'll wait. You know, there's a lot of veterans that are going through this problem, you know, whether they're young or they're old. You know, PTSD is what you call the silent killer. You know, just because you don't have a physical, physically you can't see my disability, doesn't mean, you know, I'm not disabled. You know, I get compensation for it, but regardless of the compensation, you know, there's a VA admitting that, you know, yes, you have a, you have a problem, you have a disability, all right? But I think um, when the senator was saying, like, you know, we don't know, you know, whether the percentage of the disability, whether it's 10 percent or 100 percent, you know, a disability is a disability. With PTSD, you never know when, you know, those trigger, uh, what, what's going to trigger it. You know, anything can trigger it. So it's best, I think, that we, you know, we support that HB uh, 5771 and in hopes to make the, the veteran's life easier. You know. So they don't have to worry about, like, you know, I have, you know am I, am I going to miss my doctor's appointment or am I going to be able to go to sh grocery shopping? Not everybody have a family member that's willing to take them where they need to go. So thank you so much. So we'd like to take any questions from the committee.